This order finds plaintiff Waymo has shown compelling evidence that its former star engineer, Anthony Lewandowski, downloaded over 14,000 confidential files from Waymo immediately before leaving his employment there. The evidence shows that, both before and after his departure, Lewandowski and defendant Uber planned for Uber to acquire Lewandowski's new companies, defendants Automoto and Auto Trucking, and to hire Lewandowski as the head of its self-driving car efforts. Hello everyone, I'm Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney, and tonight I thought I'd talk about an update in the Google Waymo v Uber case. The update's a pretty big one. On Friday, the 12th of May, Judge Alsup issues this order referring the matter to the United States Attorney. This case is referred to the U.S. Attorney for investigation of possible theft of trade secrets based on the evidentiary record supplied thus far concerning plaintiff Waymo's claims for trade secret misappropriation. Said evidentiary record is described in detail in the court's order issued today on Waymo's motion for provisional relief. The court takes no position on whether a prosecution is or is not warranted, a decision entirely up to the U.S. Attorney. The clerk shall please send a copy of this order to the United States Attorney. It is so ordered. So what was the court's order that was issued? And let's take a look at that, because that sounds interesting. Here is Judge Alsup's order granting in part and denying in part plaintiff's motion for provisional relief. And this is the order that was referred to just before in his referral to the U.S. Attorney. He says, this is an action for trade secret misappropriation, patent infringement, unfair competition. By way of summary, this order finds plaintiff Waymo has shown compelling evidence that its former star engineer, Anthony Lewandowski, downloaded over 14,000 confidential files from Waymo immediately before leaving his employment there. The evidence shows that, both before and after his departure, Lewandowski and defendant Uber planned for Uber to acquire Lewandowski's new companies, defendants Automoto and Auto Trucking, and to hire Lewandowski as the head of its self-driving car efforts. Moreover, defendants and Lewandowski anticipated and took steps to defend against litigation with Waymo in connection with his move to Uber. Significantly, the evidence indicates that, during the acquisition, Uber likely knew, or at least should have known, that Lewandowski had taken and retained possession of Waymo's confidential files. Waymo has also sufficiently shown, for purposes of the instant motion only, that the 14,000 plus purloined files likely contain at least some trade secrets, and that some provisional relief is warranted while this case progresses toward trial. The scope of relief warranted at this stage, however, is limited by several countervailing factors. As non-exhaustive examples, not all of Waymo's 121 asserted trade secrets actually qualify as such, and few have been traced into the accused technology. Waymo's patent infringement accusations on this motion also proved meritless. Accordingly, this order grants important but narrowly tailored provisional relief necessary to equitably balance the party's competing needs at this stage. Now follow the details. Waymo and Uber compete in the nascent self-driving car industry. Both companies have set their sights on developing custom in-house LiDAR technology that helps self-driving cars see their surroundings. Both sides see such technology as a tremendous advantage over the commercially available off-the-shelf LiDAR systems currently used in self-driving cars. Waymo has supplied a compelling evidentiary record that Lewandowski resigned without prior notice from his position at Waymo under highly suspicious circumstances with over 14,000 confidential Waymo files in tow to become the head of Uber's self-driving car team. Waymo now seeks to leverage that evidence into a preliminary injunction and other relief against defendants based on claims that defendants misappropriated Waymo's trade secrets and infringed its patents pertaining to LiDAR. For their part, defendants seek to steer Waymo's misappropriation claims into arbitration by invoking an arbitration clause in Lewandowski's employment agreements with Waymo. 
defendant's motion to compel arbitration is addressed in a companion order. That order is here and it is titled Order Denying Motion to Compel Arbitration. Let's go back. The following is supported by the motion record and, unless otherwise indicated, is likely to be proven at trial, for the most part, without contradiction. In the summer of 2015, while working for Waymo, Lewandowski told co-worker Pierre-Yves Droz that it would be nice to create a new self-driving car startup that he had talked with Brian McClendon, an Uber executive involved with Uber's self-driving car project, and that Uber would be interested in buying the team responsible for Waymo's LiDAR. On December 2015, Lewandowski used his company-issued work laptop to search Waymo's intranet for chauffeur SVN login and chauffeur SVN EEE setup. SVN referred to Waymo's password-protected repository of design files, schematics, and other confidential information. To protect the contents of the SVN repository, Waymo encrypted and authenticated all ingress and egress traffic against a regularly audited list of specific authorized users. Additionally, the SVN repository could only be accessed through specialized software called Tortoise SVN. On December 11th, 2015, Lewandowski equipped his work laptop with Tortoise SVN, then used that laptop to download over 14,000 files from the SVN repository. The 9.6 gigabytes of downloaded data include 2 gigabytes of LiDAR subdirectories. On December 14th, Lewandowski attached a portable data transfer device to his work laptop for approximately eight hours. On December 18th, he reformatted that laptop with a new operating system, wiping it clean. On January 4th and January 11th of 2016, he also used his corporate account credentials to export six additional documents pertaining to Waymo and LiDAR from Google Drive to a personal device. On January 5th, Lewandowski told Droz he planned to replicate Waymo's LiDAR technology at his new company. Meanwhile, emails between Uber executives on January 12th and January 13th showed they had prepared a document titled New Co Milestones V5 for Lewandowski to review in advance of a meeting the following day. While Discovery has not yet unearthed the document itself, Uber executive John Bars described it as full of numbers, all of which can and should be adjusted and negotiated over the next week. Referring to the same document, he told another Uber executive this list of deliverables is a high bar for sure, but then again, so is what Lewandowski is asking for in money. On January 15th, Lewandowski formed Automoto. Later in January, Lewandowski admitted to Droz that he had met with Uber to look for investors for his new company. On January 27th, Lewandowski resigned from Waymo without prior notice. By January 29th, internal emails at Uber reflected communication made in confidence by Lewandowski or his attorney and shared pursuant to joint defense agreement to further investigation for the purpose of obtaining or giving legal advice in anticipation of litigation regarding due diligence for the potential acquisition of Automoto. On February 1st, Lewandowski formed Auto Trucking. By March, Uber had directed Strauss Friedberg, a firm specializing in, among other things, digital forensics, intellectual property, and litigation support, to prepare a due diligence report on its investigation and analysis of files and electronic media from Lewandowski. On April 11th, defendants Lewandowski and their counsel executed a written joint defense agreement. In other words, it seems Uber performed specialized due diligence on Lewandowski with an eye toward jointly defending against potential intellectual property litigation with Waymo as a result of his move to Uber. In June and July, Samir Shirsagar, then a Waymo manager who negotiated with LiDAR hardware suppliers, used his corporate account credentials to export five documents from Google Drive. In July, Radu Raduta, then a manufacturing engineer in Waymo's LiDAR department, likewise exported three more documents. In late July, Kashir Sagar and Raduta left Waymo to join Lewandowski at Auto. 
In August, Uber bought Auto for approximately $680 million and hired Lewandowski to lead its self-driving car efforts. In his new position, Lewandowski reported directly to Uber CEO Travis Kalanick. At the time of its acquisition, Auto was working on a LiDAR project called Spider, which continued at Uber until October 2016. In late October of 2016, Uber abandoned Spider in favor of its current LiDAR project, Food. Meanwhile, in the summer of 2016, Waymo had become suspicious over the abrupt exodus of employees to join Lewandowski and investigated the circumstances of their departures. Around October 2016, Gary Brown, a forensic security engineer at Google, discovered the aforementioned downloading by Lewandowski, Sheer Cigar, and Reduta. On December 13th, Waymo employee William Grossman became an accidental recipient on an email string among employees at Gorilla Circuits, one of Waymo's LiDAR component vendors. That email concerned Otto and Uber, but somehow got missent to Grossman. It was also sent to Uber at GorillaCircuits.com, featured the subject line Auto Files, and appended machine drawings of a printed circuit board, the Gorilla Drawings. Waymo claims the depicted printed circuit board design for Uber closely resembles the design of Waymo's own current generation LiDAR system, Grizzly Bear version 3. On February 3rd, 2017, Waymo filed a public records request with the Nevada Governor's Office of Economic Development and Department of Motor Vehicles. On February 9th, Waymo's request turned up a document titled Autonomous Technology Knowledge and Expertise, which Auto had submitted in accordance with Nevada regulations. That document stated in relevant part, selected advanced self-driving technologies developed in-house and or currently deployed in autos autonomous vehicles include LiDAR, in-house, custom-built, 64 laser, class 1, emitting 64 million beams a second at 10 hertz. Defendant subsequently walked back this statement on March 15th after the commencement of this action when Uber sent a letter to the Nevada DMV clarifying that any vehicles tested and certified by Auto in Nevada that used LiDAR only used commercially available LiDAR. During oral argument on April 12th, defense counsel represented to the court that the LiDAR mentioned in Otto's Nevada submission was Fuji or Velodyne, a commercially available LiDAR system. In its reply brief, Waymo claims that, contradictory to both defendants' letters dated March 15th and the representations of defense counsel, Otto's Nevada submission actually referred to Spider, an assertion defendants don't contest. Waymo filed this civil action on February 23rd and moved for provisional relief on March 10th. On March 16th, after a case management conference, an order approved a plan for expedited discovery. On March 29th, at Uber's cryptic request, the court convened a non-public conference at which separate counsel appeared for Lewandowski. At that conference, defense counsel explained, before the acquisition of Otto, some due diligence was done. A third party prepared a report based on that due diligence. We intend to put that report on a privilege log. Lewandowski, through separate counsel, however, broadly asserted his Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination, seeking to prohibit defendants from revealing certain information about the due diligence report, even on a privilege log. The transcript of that conference was eventually made public. On April 4th, Lewandowski filed a formal motion to intervene to seek to redact defendant's privilege log to conceal the identity of the third party that prepared the due diligence report, as well as descriptions of items from Lewandowski reviewed during its preparation. On April 10th, after briefing and argument, an order denied the motion. Lewandowski's emergency appeal from that order was rejected. Lewandowski has also asserted his Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination in response to the vast majority of document requests and deposition questions directed at him. This has frustrated Waymo's attempts to learn how Lewandowski has used the downloads. In support of defendant's opposition to the motion for provisional relief, Sheer Cigar submitted a sworn declaration stating that while he did export five documents from Google Drive, he did so in furtherance of his job duties at Waymo and did not take any copies of said documents with him when he left. 
He further stated that he has not used any information from those documents in his work at Auto or Uber or used Waymo's confidential information to make decisions regarding suppliers or vendors for Auto or Uber. His declaration also included copies of his signed offer letters with Auto and Uber, each of which required that he not bring or use any intellectual property or confidential information from other companies. In contrast, defendants have not offered any declaration or other exculpating evidence from Lewandowski. Significantly, they do not deny that he took over 14,000 files from Waymo, that Uber lured him with the possibility of acquisition as soon as and before he left Waymo, or that Uber anticipated litigation from Waymo over that acquisition, nor do they offer evidence of any prophylactic steps taken specifically as to Lewandowski, for example, offer letters like those signed by Shearsigar, to prevent him from bringing and using intellectual property or confidential information from other companies. On the contrary, defendants represent that, after diligent investigation, they could not find any documents sufficient to show any ethical wall or policy regarding Anthony Lewandowski's participation or input into defendants' LiDAR designs or other self-driving car technology. Instead, defendants' main theme has been that none of the various term searches done in exploited discovery thus far have located any of the 14,000 plus files on Uber's servers. Notably, however, whether those searches have been adequate under these circumstances has been a subject of frequent and heated debate. Defendants have also presented an independent development narrative in which they developed their own LiDAR technology without using any confidential information from Waymo. That narrative, however, studiously omitted any inquiry into Lewandowski's work, essentially erasing him from the history of Uber's self-driving car development. Put differently, the record shows Uber bought Lewandowski's services for a tremendous amount of money and positioned him at the forefront of its self-driving car efforts, but is barren on how Lewandowski has been earning that money and title. To summarize, Waymo has made a strong showing that Lewandowski absconded with over 14,000 files from Waymo, evidently to have them available to consult on behalf of Auto and Uber. As of the date of this order, those files have not been returned and likely remain in Lewandowski's possession. The record further indicates that Uber knew of, or at least should have known of the downloading, but nevertheless proceeded to bring Lewandowski and Otto on board. Even after this litigation commenced, Uber kept Lewandowski as the head of its self-driving efforts until his recusal from LiDAR development on the day before defendant's surreply in opposition to provisional relief. Defendants maintain that Waymo's files never crossed over to Uber's servers or devices, and that Uber took strict precautions to ensure that no trade secrets belonging to a former employee would be brought to or used at Uber. These denials, however, leave open the danger of all manner of mischief. For example, it remains entirely possible that Uber knowingly left Lewandowski free to keep that treasure trove of files as handy as he wished so long as he kept it on his own personal devices, and that Uber willfully refused to tell Lewandowski to return the treasure trove to its rightful owner. At best, and this has not been shown, Uber may have required Lewandowski as a matter of form to commit not to use the Waymo files. But even if Lewandowski so agreed, his word under these circumstances would be cold comfort against the danger of trade secret misappropriation for Uber's benefit. The judge then begins an analysis section of his opinion, where he explains that he does not need to reach any adverse inferences because it is undisputed on the record that Lewandowski has the files and that certain things could still be done with them. The judge goes on to explain that it's not the patent infringement claims that deserve any sort of provisional relief in the form of a preliminary injunction, mostly because there hasn't been any patent infringement that either Waymo's been able to prove and that Uber has not been able to rebut. In fact, the judge says that Uber submitted evidence that their LiDAR system is not, in fact, an infringing product and may come from some other source or off-the-shelf product. On the trade secret misappropriation claims, the judge says, by contrast, the trade secrets case does warrant provisional relief. 
This order concludes that Waymo has established all four factors as to its trade secret misappropriation claims and that certain relief is warranted as detailed below. On the likelihood of success on the merits, Waymo brings misappropriation claims under the California Uniform Trade Secrets Act and the Federal Defend Trade Secrets Act, both of which offer essentially the same definitions for our purpose. A misappropriation means an acquisition of a trade secret of another by a person who knows or has reason to know that the trade secret was acquired by improper means. A trade secret means information that derives independent economic value, actual or potential, from not being generally known to the public or to other persons who can obtain economic value from its disclosure or use, and, two, is the subject of efforts that are reasonable under the circumstances to maintain its secrecy. And improper means includes theft, bribery, misrepresentation, breach or inducement of a breach of duty to maintain secrecy, or espionage, and excludes reverse engineering or independent derivation. As stated, Waymo has supplied a compelling record that Lewandowski pilvered over 14,000 files from Waymo, and that Uber knew or should have known when it brought him on board. So the judge then goes on to explain why he's crafting a remedy, much of this part is redacted, and so I'm not going to cover too much of it. The judge basically concludes that there could be a trade secret violation here, that there's enough of a could be a trade secret violation that some provisional relief in the form of a preliminary injunction is warranted. To conclude, the bottom line is the evidence indicates that Uber hired Lewandowski even though it knew or should have known that he possessed over 14,000 confidential files likely containing Waymo's intellectual property, that at least some of the information from those files, if not the files themselves, has seeped into Uber's own LiDAR development efforts, and that at least some of said information likely qualifies for trade secret protection. This is sufficient for Waymo to show serious questions going to the merits of its case. The judge then concludes that the likelihood of irreparable harm has been shown without any need to presume anything about trade secrets, that the evidence on the record shows that Waymo will suffer some kind of irreparable harm if Lewandowski is allowed to make use of the files that the judge concludes he has in his possession. Uber tries to defend by claiming that Lewandowski hasn't touched the autonomous car project, but the judge doesn't buy that, claiming that Lewandowski would not have been hired to lead those efforts and have his companies purchased for $680 million otherwise. So then the judge goes on to make his order. This order mainly prohibits Lewandowski from working on Uber's LiDAR, a measure Uber has very recently implemented of its own initiative, so the hardship on defendants will be minimal. On the other hand, this will provide considerable protection to Waymo against Lewandowski's potential misuse of its proprietary information in competing technology. This order concludes that the balance of hardship tips sharply in Waymo's favor, at least as to the relief granted herein. Having considered the foregoing, the court orders as follows. The term downloaded materials as used in this provisional order means any and all materials that Anthony Lewandowski downloaded from Waymo and kept upon leaving Waymo's employment, regardless of how long he kept them for and whether or not such materials qualify as trade secrets or proprietary or confidential information. Two. Defendants must immediately and in writing exercise the full extent of their corporate, employment, contractual, and other authority to prevent Anthony Lewandowski and all other officers, directors, employees, and agents of defendants from consulting, copying, or otherwise using the downloaded materials and cause them to return the downloaded materials and all copies, excerpts, and summaries thereof to Waymo or the court by May 31st at noon. Copies essential for counsel of record and their litigation experts to use in defending this civil action are exempted from the foregoing requirement. 3. With respect to Anthony Lewandowski, defendants shall immediately remove him from any role or responsibility pertaining to LIDAR, 
take all steps in their power to prevent him from having any communication on the subject of LIDAR with any officer, director, employee, agent, supplier, consultant, or customer of defendants, and prohibit him from consulting, copying, or otherwise using the downloaded materials in any way. Defendants shall instruct all their officers, directors, employees, agents, suppliers, consultants, and customers in writing of this prohibition, and further instruct them in writing to immediately report any suspected breaches thereof to the special master or to the court. With respect to all other persons, including those with Stroh's Friedberg, defendants shall conduct a thorough investigation and provide a detailed accounting under oath, setting forth every person who has seen or heard any part of any downloaded materials, what they saw or heard, when they saw or heard it, and for what purpose. In their investigation, defendants must do more than query servers with term searches. For example, they must interview personnel with particular focus on anyone who has communicated with Anthony Lewandowski on the subject of LIDAR. Defendants accounting shall not be limited to Uber, but shall include all persons who fit the foregoing description, including Lewandowski and his separate counsel. The accounting may exclude, for only the time period after the commencement of this civil action, the attorneys of record and their staff and experts employed for this litigation. This accounting shall not be limited to the downloaded materials that happen to make their way into some due diligence report, but shall cover any and all downloaded materials. The accounting shall also identify the complete chains of custodians for every copy of any downloaded materials or due diligence report referencing downloaded materials. Defendants must also use the full extent of their authority to influence and obtain cooperation with the foregoing procedure from all involved. For example, if a potential custodian refuses to cooperate, then defendants' accounting shall set forth the particulars, including all efforts made to obtain cooperation. The accounting must be filed and served by June 23rd at noon. The accounting may be filed under seal only to the extent that it quotes or appends downloaded materials. Also, by June 23rd at noon, defendants shall provide Waymo's counsel and the court with a complete and chronologically organized log of all oral and written communications, including without limitation, conferences, meetings, phone calls, one-on-one -on -one conversations, texts, emails, letters, memos, and voicemails, wherein Anthony Lewandowski mentions LIDAR to any officer, director, employee, agent, supplier, or consultant of defendants. The log shall identify for each such communication the time, place, mode, all persons involved, and subjects discussed, as well as any and all notes or records referencing the communication. Waymo is hereby granted further expedited discovery in aid of possible further provisional relief. Subject to the protective order and upon reasonable notice, Waymo's counsel and one expert may inspect any and all aspects of defendants' ongoing work involving LIDAR, including without limitation, schematics, work orders, source code, notes, and emails, whether or not said work resulted in any prototype or device. With respect to its trade secret misappropriation claims only, Waymo may take seven further depositions on seven calendar days notice, may propound 28 reasonably narrow document requests for which the response time is reduced to 14 calendar days, and may propound 28 narrow interrogatories for which the response time is also reduced to 14 calendar days. If Waymo moves for further provisional relief before trial, then all its declarants in support of such motion must sit for depositions on an expedited basis. Otherwise, defendants may take only normal, unexpedited discovery. After Waymo has exhausted its expedited discovery, it may continue with normal discovery. Defendants shall keep complete and accurate records of their compliance with all of the foregoing requirements, including directives given to Anthony Lewandowski and others. The special master shall monitor and verify said compliance. To that end, the Special Master shall promptly develop proposed monitoring and verification protocols with the party's input and then submit the proposed protocols to the court for approval. The protocols shall provide for the Special Master to visit defendants' facilities and monitor communications as necessary to ensure that Anthony Lewandowski remains sealed off from LIDAR activities. The foregoing provisional relief shall become effective upon the posting by Waymo of a bond or other security in the amount of $5 million. For the foregoing reasons, plaintiff's motion is granted to the extent stated above and denied in all other respects. It is so ordered. May 11, 2017, Judge William Alsup, United States District Judge. So that is something, huh? That, uh... 
that that basically the judge has concluded already that Anthony Lewandowski stole these documents in order to sell himself and his company and his team, I guess, to Uber for approximately six hundred and eighty million dollars. What a uh, what a theft that is! I mean, the guy. Sounds like he's already smart enough to do all of this on his own. I'm not sure why he needed to also steal their trade secrets. Maybe he didn't know that there was a law against it or thought that Google would ever know or, or Waymo would ever know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out as this case proceeds. So I'm going to keep following this. I've been following this to get us this far, but this is a very, very complicated case, even more complicated than the last one we did, the uh, Purple Mattress case. There are over 430 docket entries on this case so far, as you may have seen as we were scrolling through. So what do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. Are you on one side or the other? Do you think that uh, Uber should be let off the hook if they, uh, if, if, they, if they put up these walls that the judge is asking for? Do you still have a fuzzy understanding of what a trade secret is? And should I have spent more time on that? I realize that I've skipped some things in getting us here, but I didn't want this video to be hours and hours long. And frankly, I was working with about two hours of source material by the time I got finished shooting. So we've cut it down to what it is. Is, and I don't even know what that is yet. So. so definitely leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I look forward to seeing what you thought of the video, what you think of the subject matter, whose side you're on, if there's a side to be on in this one. Thank you so much to those of you who are supporting my channel financially. I really appreciate you donating your money in support of me creating more of these videos for you. Thank you very much to my $50 plus supporters, Joshua Meinsicker, John Cripps, Josh Bernard, Baxorn, and Weston Loney. Uh, Weston, let me know if I've mispronounced your name. I uh, apologize if that's not the correct pronunciation. The $5 plus supporters are scrolling on the panel behind me, and all of those supporters are in the description of the video. If you'd like to support, you can find a link in the description as well. Thank you for joining me. I'm Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Now follow the details. Holy shit, right?